Okay, here's a, another typical um, differential equation question. It says the number of people n in the queue of a post office t minutes after it opens is modelled by the differential equation. So dn by dt, uh, dn uh, over dt is equal to e to the 0.5t, subtract 5, t has to be bigger than or equal to 0. It says find to the nearest second the time when the model predicts that there will be the least number of people in the queue. Now, um, firstly, uh, we've got a differential equation here, so let's, what they're asking us here is clearly for the maximum or minimum in, the, in this case, and for a minimum, you know that the differential dn by dt must equal zero. So what we're solving, we're solving e to the 0.5t subtract 5 is equal to zero. Add 5 to both sides, e to the 0.5t is equal to 5. Take lunes of both sides, so 0.5t is equal to lun 5. And then double both sides, t is therefore equal to 2 lun 5. Okay? And how do you know that this is a minimum after all? How do you know it's not a maximum? Well, if I differentiated this another time, I would get something that's positive, so it tells me it's a minimum. So if I if I worked out d2n by dt squared, okay, it would be 0.5e to the 0.5t. I know that an exponential is always positive, and 0.5 is positive, so therefore the second differential is positive, so this is clearly a minimum. So, t is uh, 2 ln 5, I tap that in my calculator, 2 ln 5, and I get myself time is equal to 3.2188 and this is obviously it tells us t is in terms of minutes so it asks us to the nearest second therefore so we've got three minutes here so the time is clearly three minutes and it's this much of a minute so I I multiply uh, 0.2188 by 60 to see how many seconds it is so it's 3 minutes and 13 seconds to the nearest um, second, and we're done. Okay, part B. It says, given that there are 20 people in the queue when the post office opens, i.e. n is equal to 20 when t is equal to 0, solve the differential equation. Okay, so our boundary conditions are n is 20 when t is equal to 0, and our differential equation was dn by dt is equal to an e to the 0.5t, um, subtract 5, wasn't it? Subtract 5. Okay, so we're going to have a go at solving this. So we're going to integrate and separate variables. So the integral of dn is going to be the integral of e to the 0.5t subtract 5 dt. Integrating 1 dn is simply going to be n. So n is going to be equal to, if you integrate this, you're going to get 2 e to the 0.5t subtract 5t plus some constant. You know your boundary conditions that n were 20 when t is 0, so you sub them in. 20 is equal to, if we put e to the 0, you get 1. So I'm going to get 2, uh, subtract nothing, plus c. So it's telling me that c is clearly equal to 18. So therefore, my solution to the differential equation is n is equal to 2e to the 0.5t, subtract 5t and plus 18. Okay, the last part, explain why this model would not be appropriate for large values of t. Well, for part c, if t tends to infinity, we have to look at what happens to each of these things. Now, this tends to infinity much more quickly than 5t does. So the whole thing tends to infinity very quickly. So as t tends to infinity, n tends to infinity quickly, which is not realistic. Okay, because what we're modeling, the number of people after time, if time gets very big, we're going to assume that uh, loads of people are in the post office, like hundreds and thousands, which is not realistic. Therefore, uh, no good. Okay, and we're done with that question.